Jabba Huts are on. Hey guys, this is Dark Hill of Rock, and today I'm doing a review on Jabba the Hutt's sale bars because I got asked by uh, Lego Boy 784. At least I think it was him because I know a lot of Lego Boys. And yeah, let's start one to the review. Okay, it came out 2006. It's called Jabba the Hutt's sale bars. Um, pieces 781, episode 6. And here's some more information about it if you want to pause that and read it. And this is discontinued now, but you can still buy it on eBay and stuff like that, which is what I bought it off. And also, mine came with the box as well. So if you're buying yours with the box, it could be more expensive. And also, mine did have pieces missing. Even though the guy said it didn't have any pieces missing, it actually had three pieces missing. Thankfully, I filled them in, though. I had those pieces. But, yeah, so when you're buying off eBay, make sure that, you know, it says all the pieces are there, but this, they still could not be. Okay, so start off with the minifigures. We're going to start off with Jabba the Hutt, because it is his, um, his, his cell barge. So here he is. Um, yeah, back in the old days, uh, Lego just used to make plastic moulds, basically. But then it has no printing on it. It's pretty good um, plastic moulding, but just no details. I'm going to buy another one of him, and then, like, you know, improve him. Like, make him have yellow eyes with a line down it, like, in the movie. So that's what I'm going to do. And there's his long tail. Yep, so he's pretty cool. If you want to buy him off Fire Star Toys, he's, um, I think he's 29 quid or 39 pound. Yeah, but he's brand new now, if you buy him off Fire Star Toys. If you buy him off eBay, I don't know how much it will cost. I'll put a link, a link in the description for Firestar Toys because you can buy like most of these characters from there. And here's uh, Lando Calavision in all these armor stuff. Let's see if the camera focuses a minute. There we are, camera focus. There's his little helmet. And then his face is just like, well, just like the other Lando Calavisions. Let's have a look. Let's bring it off. It's stuck here. We are. There's his face. You can see it. Yep, little mustache. Pretty cool. And he comes with like a little axe weapon, which is the same as the pig guy, but here's his shorter. So, here's the pig guy. Again, Lego didn't put much printing on the characters back then, if they were moulded like this, but there's still pretty good plastic detail on the moulding there. Um, it comes with, like, the yellow axe weapon again. What Lando kind of is, it has, but just shorter, like I just said. That's yep, here he is. Give me a better close-up of him. There you go. Pretty cool. Yeah, sorry if this isn't a very good review, guys, because um, you can't see the whole, like, you know, platform, because I'm not doing my reviews in the same place anymore. Well, I will be. Doing, but there's just stuff in that area uh, uh, right now where I do my reviews normally. Okay, here's Princess Leia. And in this one, she will come with a little uh, piece where you put on her back so you can connect it to the chains. But you don't have to have that on her. I've got another one over here. What well, doesn't have that on her, but she's just the same. Um, yep, there she is. Give him more close up just in case you didn't see some of the detail. And here's the old Boba Fett, the really old Boba Fett, and it's pretty cool. He is. Um, yeah, he doesn't, um, like the, um, the Boba Fett with, like, side printing and leg printing, he can cost a lot of money now these days on eBay and everything like that, because he is extremely rare. Um, and here's another Boba Fett I have, and it's really weird, as you know, sometimes when this happens, like, you see his chest piece, his is lighter, and then he has a whiter bit there, and he has a darker bit, and his helmet's darker. It's really weird, isn't it, sometimes when that happens, just the printing, I suppose, but... I think maybe the darker one looks cooler. Yeah, yeah this is pretty cool. He has his jetpack stuck to his helmet again. Looks like the and the new one doesn't have that. Just in case you haven't seen the new one, I'll just I'll just show you him quickly so you can see the difference there. Yeah, he's more accurate helmet and a jetpack. It's not stuck to his helmet. And another weird thing about this kit is I think they changed the colour of the characters at one point. Like at one point they were yellow and then they changed them to white now, which is really weird. Like yeah, I think they just I think they changed the colour of the characters because um at one at one point I saw a picture of this thing and the the characters were yellow like this. Here's Princess Le Leia, the really old version, and she's yellow there. And they changed them to white when this kit was still out on this. And it's really weird. Lego don't normally do that, but they did this time. Okay, and here's Han Solo, and he's very old shirt. Look at it. Look at the detail on that. It's it's nice and it's pretty cute, <laughs> but yeah, it's not like um really insane detail. Like you could do that with a sharpie pen, though, really, couldn't you? Just not that neat. But yeah, it's pretty nice though. I mean, it's nice to see the old, like, original characters, really, isn't it? And here's, like, the new one. And you can see the difference. I mean, yeah, he's a lot more cooler. But I like the originality of this guy. Like, it shows how old Lego used to look back then. Even though it's still 2006, but they had a lot of improvements. And here's Luke Skywalker. Yeah, he's basically just the same as he's always been. Even now in the future, he's still the same. Um, yes, I think he is anyway. He might have a little bit more detail or something. Uh, he does have his robot hand. It is, the robot hand is this one. This one right there, but he doesn't have the glove on all the time. But as a matter of fact, actually, that's when he got the glove. He got shot on his hand, so then he covered it with a glove. So that's after this. He got shot on his hand up here by this by this gun. No, somebody shot him over here. 
not that good. Okay, now let's get on to the main thing. So, the features on this kit, well, it doesn't actually have many features, but it's a really nice looking model. As you can see, I've got the book here. Oh, well, it was there, but here's a picture of the instruction manual. You can see how nice it looks there. It actually does really look like that, obviously. And these are window things here that lift up. So, we go, this door folds down, and this door folds down, the same on both sides. And turn on, so you can see inside there, let's hope you can see. Um, yep, yeah, comes with a little green spider. It's like Jabba the Hutt's food, he eats that. And then Jabba the Hutt eats these food in here. There's a frog and a frying pan and some tap or something. There's maybe some water in there, I don't know. There's a snake. What goes in there, but the snake didn't come with it, unfortunately, because I bought mine off eBay. But I still got it, I've still got loads of snakes. Uh, these prison doors are quite hard to open, so I have to open it from the other side. Here we go, here's the prison door. Just folds out there, and um, you can see all the way through. Uh, there's no prison door there, but you can pick Boba Fett like we were going guarding him. Because there's no need to be a prison door there, because they need to get them out anyway. And then there will be guests in there, so then they have to move out of the way. <laughs> so out when the door opens. Um, here's um, Jabba the Hutt's chicken, and there's his food storage area. And there's um, nothing over there, and nothing in that bit. This It's all hollow. There's nothing inside these bits, so it's actually really light, because it only has 781 um, pieces. And that's because these pieces are really big. And it is actually a very nicely well put together um, ship, really. It's like very cleverly designed, but like you can break it quite easily. But if you pick it up from the bottom, it's pretty sturdy. But yeah, it's completely, because it's got nothing inside it, I, like if you lift it up from here, the roof will fall off. So don't ever pick it up by the roof, it'll just fall off. <laughs> anyway, here's some of the guns it comes with. It comes with the old Lego Star Wars rocket launcher kind of guns, and like the old pistol guns, which I think are really awesome. I like the old Lego guns. They look. Pretty, well, they look Lego y, which <laughs> gives you the Lego vibe. See, there you go, you can see all the way through. And also, you can ask, it's actually a three in one. This is, remember, like the old Lego kits, they used to be able to build something else out of them. Let me see if I can show you. Here's the other things you can build out of it. So, basically, you can build Jabba, Jabba the Hutt's palace out of it. I mean, it doesn't come with the instructions, but you can find them on the internet, I think. I don't know if you can anymore. But this is what you this is what you used to be able to buy I and mean, build if you go onto the internet and type in the kit, like back in the old days. This is like uh, like a replica of Jabba the Hutt cell bars, but because there's there's actually a kit for it, but you can still build a little one. And in here you can build this weird fist thing, and you can also build this, whatever this is, just some kind of platform area with some sails sticking out, which is a bit funny. And here's some of the older kits were out at the time with the, when this kit was out. The old uh, Boba Fett Slay one. Got this one, you got the new version of that one I do. Okay, back onto more features. Uh, it does come with this gun here, which is very accurate to the movie actually, because it does have this nice little wheel on the side there, which the actual gun actually does have, like the little detail there. No gun at the back though, but I don't know I don't know if it actually was supposed to have one there. But um on the game it did. But I suppose the designers didn't pit one on there this time. Uh, there's a kind of there's a gun at the front, but it's not exactly a gun. It looks like a gun, and you could you could say it is a gun, but actually you hit Boba Fett on there. Hit Boba Fett on there, and this probably won't work, but you know you know what it's supposed to do. You press this, and it's supposed to. Oh, actually, it did work that time. You press that, and it fires over there, so you, you can fly, like over to the um the Zalak, Zalak pit, I think it's called, which is over here. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, it comes with these nice sails, which um, you can actually move, and you can put them basically anywhere you want. Well, not you, uh, they actually go. F um, yeah, it actually comes with these little square pieces. Here, let me show you. Yeah, these ones, and it's three, and then three in on both sides. So three studs are directly in the middle. So that's where they're supposed to go, and that's where. And then so it's really easy to put them back if they fall off, and you know the where they're supposed to go with the maps and everything. This little gate door thing here where it opens, and it's like just for look, and also for detail. And now I've only got three minutes to show you the other stuff. I've only got three minutes now because um. I just do. So it comes with this little um, like side uh, speeder, which has a plank comes out here. This is the, um, the plank, and you can stand the bit Luke Skywalker on there, and he jumps off when you can do. Um, it goes in there. You can basically just flick him and <laughs> his thing off. Here's the Zylac pit. I think that's what it's called. I don't actually know what the name of the plant is called, but that's where the that's what the whole pit is called anyway. Because it would be sand all around here. And yeah, it's pretty good detail. Um, I wish they included the vines for attack Lando Calrissian. Uh, it takes a long time to put these tea pieces in. Thankfully, I didn't have to do that because they're already in there when I bought it from eBay. But yeah, it will take a very long time to put those tea pieces in. Uh, it doesn't have teeth in the plant because I don't think it did. But I don't know if it did or not, but I don't think it did, no. But you can put people in there. And if you wanted to, you could put teeth on the plant. And yeah, that's about it, that's about, that's, um, it from this kit. I'll just show you some of the detail on the pieces there. They're actually, I think they're all stickers, yeah. It's kind of annoying. I didn't put them on, obviously, I bought one from eBay. They're already on there. Oh yeah, one more feature. It does have these windows for open. 
there and also all along here these windows do open just like those ones okay and your, your instruction manual might might come with this which means it doesn't have these pieces you have to use these ones but on the um, box as you can see they <laughs> those slow it's those ones that those ones there. I don't know what happened there but but mine has um just normal <laughs> pieces without the chains in it annoyingly okay and here's the box it is uh, here's the back of the box shows you the features, Boba Fett flying, shows you him on there, shows you the doors, Princess Leia by the gun, the thing like going along over there. Here's some of the other kits we can get again, and there's the things we can build out of it as well. And then there's just the groovy picture of it. And like the old Lego Star Wars logo at the top. Okay, this is, this has been Stark Killer Rock, thanks for watching and goodbye. See no wait, it's not goodbye. <laughs> Silly me, I forgot to show you RTD2, here you go. Got no minutes left, it's like only about 30 seconds, so just have a quick look. You've all seen him before, just comes with this 2x4 plank of Lego on him with these cups, so there's a little drink holding machine. Okay, this has been Star Killer Rock this time, thanks for watching and goodbye. Bye,